Okay, y'all haven't seen this one yet. So this is the Anycubic, um, is it the Mega? I can't remember now. Um, so I just got it, I set it up, and um, uh, right away I didn't like the fact that the bed, the heated bed was not insulated. Okay, so I'm gonna bring you over here. So I had some of the pieces of the cheap Amazon bed insulation left over from uh, one of my, I guess from the Ender 3 back back in those days. And uh, so, okay, so anyhow, so here's the bed. It's I, I had the bed all leveled and I did the first print on this. And I realized that it took a long time for the bed to heat up. And I... I looked at it and it wasn't insulated and I know that makes a huge difference so okay so in the process um, of course the rollers weren't set up on it anywhere um, it had the bumps and lumps you know on all the axis when you moved everything and so I went through and I adjusted all the rollers and I you know I went through I leveled the bed I did all that and uh, so anyhow, okay, so back to the back to the rollers. When I I tried to I was trying to put the bed insulation on there without removing the bed. And there's there's no there was no room in between the the ends of these bolts and the bed. I mean not not enough room for insulation. So in a way I can kind of see why the factory didn't put it on there. Um However, the um, Soval SVO3 came with an insulation that was maybe half of that thick. So, I mean, it's possible that you could do it. Um, okay, so, so while I had the, the bed off and I, I put the insulation on there, um, then I noticed that all the nuts were sticking, or the bolts were sticking through the, the self-locking nuts on here a long ways. And they were going to catch on that insulation, I have no doubt. Um, so, I, so then, so okay, then I get my trusty grinder out, and I came in here this morning and I cut the the threads off that were sticking out of the nuts. When you do that, you heat up the nut probably too much, and you probably ruin the self-locking feature on the nut. So I want to take them all off and just put some. Um, Loctite on the threads, okay? Well then, okay, so then you get into the other problem. And the other problem is, is that you can't take the rollers off on this side of the printer because, I mean, there's the power supply. Um, there's no way to get an Allen wrench under there to hold the head of those screws or bolts. So then, okay, so then what's the next option? Well. You could pull the, you could unplug all the cables and take the printer back apart and pull the power supply out and the control box out so that then you could um, you know get to the get to the rollers. Okay, so then there's another option, okay? So on this plate, you have these carrier blocks. Okay, I'm gonna, sorry, I'm using the GoPro Hero today because my cheap ass Chinese camera that I bought didn't work. Um, okay, so these these are bolted on, okay? And that, that's your Y-axis belt right there, okay? So I took those off. Well, when I took those off, then the, as soon as the first roller got to the front of the printer, it was hitting on the the plastic. Okay, so when this is put together, the extrusions are they're, they're, they're slid into this bracket right here. Okay, this corner bracket. And then there's a screw under here and there's a screw clear actually clear back here. And that bolts this plastic bracket on. Well, that prevents this carriage from being able to slide off the front of the printer. Okay. Now, if that were me, I would have just put a a bolt right here um, that would hit on the plate 
to, to prevent it from going too far forward and then do some kind of a, you know, uh, a nice, you could have actually stopped this cover like right here, basically. Okay, so, um, so rather than tear the printer all apart, knowing that sometimes you're going to replace the rollers and things like that, um, and you're going to have to get to them and adjust them and tighten them, um, I decided to cut off the piece of plastic that went all the way out here to the other side. Okay, I just took my little hobby saw and I cut it off and 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 broke it off of there. Um, so also, you know, they make 3D printers. You think they could make some 3D printed parts? I mean, why not just make a removable cover that covers up this end um, bar or rail that that slides on? You know, make a removable cover right here that you can just take one screw out and pop the cover off. Okay, because, and I cut this side off too, because now that I cut this thing apart, here's what I can do. Look at that. Okay, yay. So there you go. So that comes off now. And then I can, I can flip it over and show you. Okay, now I can get to everything, you know. I can now I can do now I can do whatever whatever I want with this thing you know I can I can take the, the bolts out I can tighten them I can lock tight them I can change the rollers very easily okay so this is any cubic this is their big one um, I can't remember let's measure it is it 35 or is it 40 I just can't remember. I got too much crap going on in my head. So this is a 400 by 400. Sorry, I will edit that for you guys. Okay, so the bed actually measures uh, 430 millimeters that way. And it measures, what's this way? 410 this way so the total total plate is 430 by 410 sorry you got flipped upside down there for a minute okay so the build plate 430 by 410 millimeters and um, you know usable print areas I don't know just call it 400 by 400 right so it's a big printer it wasn't cheap um, Especially right now, it seems like everything's expensive. I don't know why they put a Bowden tube on it. Um, I don't know. I don't like it. Um, I like this feature, the bed automatic, the ABL. So it's uh, magnetic and it clips on. Okay, when you go to level the bed. I can't see without getting down here really far, but... Ah! Okay, so when you go to level the bed, it just magnetically clips on and then you go into ABL and, and it probes the bed. When you're done with it, this is what I like. It comes off. I just like to, there's a tab up here and I just like to stick it on that tab to keep it out of the way. And it doesn't really enter ABL anyhow unless, even though it's still plugged in, I mean, you still have to go in to tell it to probe the bed. And so it's kind of nice just to, Put it right there out of the way. I don't know if they put that tab there on purpose, but it works for me. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and Loctite my um, screws or bolts for these rollers. And then I'm gonna put this thing back together and level the bed. And maybe today I'll be printing wing sections with it. So, so anyhow, um, like I said, the frustrations that come with these new printers, I just don't think that you should have to go through and, you know, set up the, the concentrics on the rollers. And I mean, there's just all these little things that um, the factory could do for people just to make it a little bit easier to um, get going on your first print. So, oh, and anyhow, uh, here's, what, here's something else I almost forgot to show you. 
So this one came from the factory loose like that. Okay. Now remember, uh, it was on. It was actually on this side too. So it was it was one of the rollers um, above the power supply in the in the main board box. So I would have had to basically disassemble this printer anyhow to fix a loose roller from the factory. Okay, so, uh, you know, come on, come on people. You know, I think, I think China's uh, quality control uh, leaves a lot to be desired, but any cubic, I don't know, is this made in China? I don't know, this, this printer I think is either, does it come from the UK or does it come from Germany? I am not sure. China, UK, or Germany. Somebody missed a roller. Um, didn't It didn't get tightened all the way. And uh, it was on the side of the bed that you cannot get an Allen wrench underneath there to tighten it or to hold it. Um, you certainly can't get pliers on those pan head screws, Allen screws. And uh, anyhow, this printer was going to have to be disassembled anyhow to fix that. So by chopping these plastic blocks off of the front... Um, you can make it so that that um, Y-axis carriage or the bed carriage can be uh, removed easily, easily removed. Um, in fact, a person could just put a connector uh, in the wires that go to the hotbed so that you could just unplug the hotbed. How about that idea? You could unplug the, the heated bed and you could actually slide it out of the printer um, without taking anything apart. So let's think about that as an option. You know, okay, my two cents. New printer, hasn't been used yet. Already um, cutting, tearing on it, ripping, making it better. So I guess that's what we do. We make it better. Thank you. And uh, if you like this kind of stuff, if you appreciate me sharing it. Um, please hit the uh, thumbs up button and uh, tell YouTube that you liked it. So I appreciate that. Thanks and have a great day. Shut up and sit down.